Ben, you were a running back. I was a running back. We've talked about this gentleman here. Oh, the Tyler Rose. <laughs> Earl Campbell. It was his birthday. And the reason that I, I, I posted this, they had a, a debate on television. I think it was on our morning show, Good Morning Football, about running backs. And if you're a running back, would you rather be the guy who can shake that guy and make him miss? Or do you want to be the guy who trucks that guy? <laughs> I want to be both. Uh, you, you know, if, if you can, if you can. But most, most running backs lean to one or the other. Right. Lean to one or the other. I mean, your body type kind of, kind of. And as much as we like, as what they call angry runs and all of that, I thought about Earl Campbell. And I don't know. If, let me see if I can if I can show what I wanted to show. But what I wanted to show was Earl Campbell's medical situation right now. <laughs> You know, from trucking all of those people, poor, poor Earl Campbell now, I mean, he has, he is completely debilitated. His body is debilitated. He can barely walk. You know, they say he takes, I think, Vicodin or whatever for the anxiety, you know, and it, it, it kind of breaks your heart because he was like that, that guy, we all kind of like, hey, Earl Campbell, you know, we all, you know, we all loved everything that he did. I remember Earl Campbell. Was it, did he split his helmet uh, against the Steelers, lowered his head and put his I, head right? I think he split the Steelers' helmet. Okay. <laughs> Somebody's helmet got split. <laughs> Off the top of my head, I think it was uh, Donnie Torchito. Torchito. Donnie <laughs> Torchito Shell. Remember Donnie, Donnie Shell? Shell? Oh, man. I think it was Donnie Shell. They called him Torpedo. Yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> That's some classic stuff. Yeah. And you know, we, we were talking earlier. Huh? He had some classic collisions. Isaiah Robinson, Robertson with the with the Rams. Oh my God. Oh. Classic collisions, man. Uh, unbelievable stuff. What's your favorite? The one with Robertson, I think, is my favorite. Uh, probably the one you'll see the most um, because he actually trucked him and, and he scored. Uh, but but the, the, the actual, the immediate collision, they both kind of stopped. But Robertson was wasted. And Earl Campbell, just his legs, he stopped for a second and then his legs kept moving. He kind of turned a little bit and and squeeze through another little soft tackle and somebody had pulled off his jersey and he and he ran in. Oh, was that the one where the guy was pulling his jersey off? Well, he had a lot of those cuz you know there was a, there was a uh some years there where pull away jerseys were uh the old tear away jerseys, right? They were getting tear away jerseys like crazy. Cuz that's the thought that's the one that I remember. And I think always so impressed by his ability to run away from people. <laughs> you know, with all that power that he ran with, you know, if he, if he, was, if he got a step on you, he pretty much was out, you know. Many, most of the time, you weren't going to catch him. You know, I don't know if they did not want to catch him. <laughs> that's a possibility also. Uh, but that's just such a, uh, a wear and tear on the body of uh, – of a running back, you know, and uh, we talked about how they value running backs. We're going to talk about that a little bit more in the next show um, because that's the challenge with running backs, you know, um, that wear and tear, you know. Yeah, well, you know, he only had a seven-year career. He only played, man, make sure my math is right, he played from 1978 to 1985. Mm. Is that, am I right? It's about right. Yeah, yeah. But, um Five-time Pro Bowler, three-time first-team All-Pro, Hall of Famer, obviously, uh, got an MVP in 79. Whew, he packed a lot. 
into those seven years and averaged like four points something per carry. Incredible, incredible player. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So that, that was my thought, you know. It, again, when you look at the economics of the running back position and you think of all, you know, how much you love those running backs. Um, and then the funny thing is Barry, who is the ultimate shake guy, uh, of course, beside our Gail Sayers, you know, um, well, Barry kind of just walked away. He was he was pretty much healthy, right? When he walked away, he he didn't really. Yeah, Barry have... Sanders never really sustained any extremely serious injuries, like you know any torn ligaments in his knees or anything like that. I think he might have had a couple of a um, couple little uh, missed games with maybe ankles and stuff like that. But for the most part, he had a pretty long career and probably could have gone longer. And yeah, he walked away. He walked away healthy. I don't even feel like probably. I felt, you know, no doubt in my mind he could he could have gone longer. It's just whenever when it when that switch turned in his head and he said, "Okay, that's enough for Barry," and that's that's just how he was, you know. Right. So it was an amazing thing. But our favorite player, you know, who who as I, I always tell people, I used to grade or, or or rate his cuts by how many people hit the ground <laughs> off of the cut. <laughs> It's like, oh, he got one body on that one. Oh, I've seen him do three bodies, almost four bodies. And I think against my Niners, he probably had at least one cut where half the team hit the hit the mud <laughs> as he ran for six touchdowns on his greatest day. <laughs> you know, it's funny. Young guys nowadays don't know a lot about the old school guys. And sometimes – they don't really want to hear it. You know, they, they believe in the guys that they've seen, which I, I can kind of understand that. But when you talk about some of the incredible things that the old school guys do or did, you know, the one thing, there's a lot of amazing things about Gail Sayers. But one of the amazing things was you have not seen in a long time, I challenge anybody to remember one, nor will you ever probably see it again a starting running back who ran back kicks and punts. Economically not sound right in, in today's times. And it wasn't sound back then, if you really think about it. You and know. it probably shortened his career also. But guess uh, what? He did the damn thing. Yeah, hey, look, look, let me tell you, let me tell you. All right, 